Hi guys, good evening. Nakikita niyo ako? Naririnig niyo po ba ako? Yes po. Naririnig po. Okay, that's good. Uh, medyo maingay kasi may electric pa sa likod ko. Medyo mainit. So, ganyan lang siya. Ayusin natin ang aking mahal na camera. Kumusta naman po ang inyong linggo? How's, how did you... Um, ano yung ginawa nyo ngayong araw na ito? Everyone, if you can see me live, uh, I actually open live sa Facebook. So I just want to tell you guys that every Saturday we have different topics. It will be different topics in regards to basic uh, um, virtual assistance. I really wanted everyone to know that there is really a, a good chance. Ang, ang ganda na magkakaroon tayo ng work. Just simply staying at home as long as you know the basic skills, as long as you are confident enough to go out there and hunt clients. And also, don't you worry because every Saturday we have different topics from basic um basics of VA and then processes, skills, ano yung mga dapat natin gawin. So, um, last, the first Sunday of May, I was able to discuss about the uh, basics of virtual assistance. And then second uh, week of May or second Saturday of May, I was able to discuss about the checklist. Ano ba dapat yung mga andon sa checklist nyo para makapag-start kayo to work uh, as a virtual assistant at home. Kasi, uh, sayang kasi, di ba, yung time once you're going to, you decide to become a virtual assistant and then wala ka palang gadgets, wala ka palang mga, mga, hindi ka pa handa. Ang hirap pumunta sa gera na hindi ka pa handa. So that was for the second uh, Saturday that I have discussed. And then yesterday, Sunday, I also discussed about port creating portfolio. Kasi most of the clients will be asking you to send them portfolio where is your resume where where is your portfolio because um again portfolio is like compilation of everything uh, isang prueba siya ng mga bagay na at alam natin so i discussed that yesterday and if you're not able to join those um topics naman every month i have to rerun the same topics i always announce the facebook group natin uh, just watch out lang um usually kasi uh, saturday is for my family day. I just run uh, 6 p.m. Ako nag start na uupo dito sa working station ko. So, ito yung working station ko. And then, Sunday, same time, 6 pa rin. Because uh, I have parang may mga, mga ginagawa din ako. I always make sure na I have enough time for my uh, for my family as well. And at the same time, I really wanted to help other people start their career as a virtual assistant. So I really um I am really grateful that you are here to join me. I know it's very important. You just um uh, when I see people joining in and allotting time to listen. It's really a good sign na gustong-gusto niyong matuto. Gustong-gusto niyong magkaroon talaga ng mga ideas and more skills to go ahead and para lumaban. Kumbaga, para mag-start na yung laban natin. And thank you so much for joining my community. And I hope now if you find my community, if you find my group that is very useful, that is very helpful to everyone, Please invite others as well. Because I know I'm receiving a lot of messages that coach I was um scam. Uh, I pay for this amount and hindi lang basta basta na para alalaki ng binabayaran ng iba na ng mga uh, paid courses and then wala na si coach nawawala na nakuha na yung pera or nakuha man yung yung mga bagay na nakapag uh, you're able to enroll and then wala ding nangyayari, di ba? So I really wanted everyone to share the blessings as I share my blessings to you. Please share it to everyone else out there. Kasi kawawa naman din sila na yung iniipon nilang pera just to make sure na makapag, um, they will also learn and start as a virtual assistant e nadali pa ng iba. You can just tell them, hey, there's someone out there sa group namin that really cares because, um, again, our mission, our vision is to help everyone at least get a client and have a consistent workflow ng income nila. All right, so if you are ready, I'm just waiting for some... Madami pang pumapasok, kaya medyo kinakausap ko pa kayo, ha? Uh, because I'm still accepting 
sa, sa yung mga nagjo-join sa kwan natin, the Zoom meeting natin. And also, as, mm -hmm. Wow. So, Coach, wow. nakabili na po ako ng laptop kanina. Makakagawa na ako ng mga assignments. Good job. Because, um yes, I, I offer paid courses. And uh -huh. yung mga paid course na to is actually... Ah, uh, um, they, every week, they have they have as, as, um, assignments. So let's say, for example, yung week one, they have a worksheet. Kaya, um, I always talk about clarity, about confidence, about what they really wanted. Kasi I really want them to have this vision uh, and they're going to build the foundation of their business. Again, a virtual assistance of business owner, we are offering service to our clients. So you really needed to know. We have to have a clarity kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mo. So, they have that um they have that worksheets and then work so every week um yung module for lang yung wala silang assignment because i let them go find their own clients yeah good job sa mga talagang gustong gustong matuto and guys i will share with you ito ha um bakit um uh, Bakit pag may mga nag, nag, uh, nag, I, I'm receiving a lot of messages like asking money, monetary money from me, uh, that, that their kids are sick, they don't have money or whatsoever. I'm not really giving money. I'm not. Because if you really wanted to, to, to change your life, don't use your kids. Don't use them as a weapon to ask something from other people. When um when our our when my life turns upside down, literal na nawalan kami ng ng asawa ko ng halos lahat nawala. And what I have done, kahit lockdown is COVID, it's bawal. Nagtinda ako ng balot. Nagtinda ako ng balot and pinagtatawanan man ako ng tao that time. It's okay, it's fine because what I'm thinking that time is one day I will reach my goals. And I really wanted to become a virtual assistant that time because when I search about virtual assistant, I check all the testimonials and I can see that it's a promising one. And even though I don't have money, I don't have anything that time, it's locked down and I do not have good work. I do not have income. I go out there. I sit don sa kanto with Mike Balot. I will share the picture later on the group and you will see me nagtitinda ng balot. Then the time I have to save money because I have to buy my PC, my first PC which is this one i3 second gen. Um binili ko siya and then I I the other money that I have earned I bought for a um, a course because I really wanted to be guided. Ano ba talaga? Because I don't I don't know where to start, where to find this client, blah blah blah. So I really I really make things na, na parang kahit pagtawanan ako ng mundo, I don't really beg for money. I don't really beg for someone to give me something. That's why when someone, somebody is sending picture of their kids to me right now, I'm getting a lot every day asking for money. I always offer, go ahead, join my training. I run free training because what I want you guys is to learn how to fish. I will not be giving you a fish itself, but I want you to learn how to get fish out there. Okay? Kaya talagang wala akong pakialam pag tinitignan ko yan. Sabi. And then when I offer free training or even I offer like, uh, I will guide you. I will be your coach personally for free. But then they will say, pera na lang po. Then I know for the fact that you don't want to change your life. And why should I bother to change your life and to help you? Binibigyan na kita ng mas malaking chance to go out there and be the best of you. Mm -hmm. But then, if you're gonna turn down my offer to help you, like parang kayang kaya mo nang makakuha ng clients within two weeks. Kasi most of my um, students, four days, seven days after na, na natututukan ko sila, they're able to get clients. Okay? So do not ever, ever send message and picture of your kids that they are sick and you're asking money for me. Because there's a lot of people out there that I offer free training, free guidance, and that will be a one-on-one -on -one guidance, and they will be turning down my offer, it means that you really don't need help. You're just scamming people. Okay? So, marami pang doon? Okay. 
we can actually start na. I will share my screen. May mga pumapasok pa sa Zoom natin. But let's na yan. I'm going to share my screen so we can start na. I'm so sorry for the early um early sermons. I love I love really talking and I really love sharing and everything. At least you will also know me na parang kasi ang daming nagsasabi, ang bait-bait mo pala coach and then the kabaitan is like they're be asking for money. No, I'm I'm mabait but in another way. I really wanted everyone to learn, to be independent. And ganun yung goal ko kasi I really don't like na papasahin ko kayo. It's really hard. Yan, nakikita nyo yung aking mahal na screen. Uh, yes, so yeah, you can go enroll everyone. It's okay, no worries. Okay, okay. Here starts very. At thank you so much. I really wanted to be a, a voice. Parang sabi ko, Lord, um, gamitin mo ako to inspire others. Uh, to uh, to inspire other people, because there's a lot of people out there na magagaling matatalino, but they don't have their own voice. They don't have confidence, and that at yun ang mayroon ako. And all the the things that I have been through is siya yung nagpalaka, nagpalakas sa akin siya yung nag lahat ng mga let's say lahat na ng bully sa akin I am so thankful and grateful for all those people who hurt me and bullied me because they are the one they are the reason why I am right where I am right now so I always oh, I always tell my papa <coughs> papa I'm really grateful that the Judas on my life came and they build me to be the best person that I am, to be the successful person right now. Kasi kung walang Judas, di ba? Jesus, Jesus have Judas so that Jesus' uh, destiny will get fulfilled. The same thing sa atin. So lahat ng mga Judas sa buhay natin, be thankful na andyan sila because they are pushing you para tumaas ka. So always, so always see your problem na mayroon kang nakikita doon na blessings. And that's also the one that, uh, that actually I attended the, the mass earlier and yun yung ko ni Pastor. And I I'm really, really um, appreciate the sermon because that's that's what's going on with me and that's what that's my principle and that's my view of life as well. And I said, oh, oh totoo, galing, galing, galing. So instead of me getting angry to those people who hurts me, those, to those people who turns me down, I always pray for them and saying, kawawa naman sila, they are just doing kung ano yung nakalaan sa kanila to fulfill the destiny that the Lord is giving to us. So guys, um, anyone that's here, please mute para hindi tayo nakaka-distract din sa iba. I know. Alright? So we can start na. So um, again, every Sunday is a lead generation training but I always talk about mindset and um, mindset and um, tawag neto um law of attractions and more on faith so if you feel like ah hindi hindi nyo gusto nakakarinig i always uh, get bible verses kasi i really wanted to share that the person that you're talking right now i'm not successful without him okay everything is coming from him yeah so again, welcome to the group. Thank you so much for uh, joining my group. Thank you so much for your time joining me right now. And to those people who doesn't know me, you can call me Coach Cheska. I am the owner of the Sivas Academy. That is, um, it's actually Kanawai Virtual Assistant Services. It is for my last name, and that was my father's. That is my father's last name. Um, I I really told my father before, no, kahit wala pa dati, I I I I always promised to my my papa that I will leave a legacy on his name because my father is really generous and is very kind and it's inspired me to be the this kind of person as well it's because of my papa so i called the the academy a sivas academy this was actually created para free dapat lahat ng mga church members anak ng mga pastor because when i saw na parang bakit lahat ng mga anak ng pastor at mga nasa simbahan na really really have a deep faith in God are the one who are really poor, doesn't have money. And I said, Lord, if you are really a living God, use me. Because these people are already laughing at us, praising you because we are poor. And hindi ako papayag kasi sabi mo buhay na Diyos ka. 
So, this is me. When I have that uh, blessing showered in my life, I said, Lord, ready na ako. Ready na ako mag-share sa isa, isa, isa. The word mo to share the blessings to other people as well. So, um, I was a previous call center agent since 2010. I work with Telstra, I work with AT&T, yung mga mababangis na account, MetLife Life Insurance, IAG New Zealand. So there's these are the biggest accounts na nahandle ko. I'm a mother of three and I started working as a virtual assistant last January 21, 2021. So, um... By like two years na ako na nag -free freelance nag work as a virtual assistant and I can see how how good virtual assistant is. Um, virtual assistant work help us talaga para bumangon kami ulit from pagkabaon sa utang from something na nawalan kami. Um, because of this work Mag naging okay ulit kami naging okay lahat and that's why I'm really sharing out there na sa lahat ng nawawalan ng pag-asa may magandang trabaho sa bahay ka lang, nakaupo ka lang nag-work ka lang as long as your work um work ethics is good as long as na maganda yung mga you're giving good quality output to your clients clients come and dominion. You can see all the opportunities out there. You just keep on upskilling. Just keep on learning para magkaroon din kayo ng mga clients. Just don't stop learning because that's the actually, yung kwan natin as a virtual assistant, yun yung kwan natin. We don't, you don't kailangan hindi tayo mag-stop na mag-learn. We have to keep on studying. Right? And I always love talking about mindset and law of attraction. So if you're going to check on my Facebook wall, it's talking about mindset, mindset, positive mindset, law of attraction, faith, faith. Um, in If you're a really religious person, you will say, ah, law of attraction is against God's word. But if you're going to, uh, ako kasi, I said, ah, law of attraction is for those spiritual things. Yung mga hindi, walang Jesus, walang Christ, walang Lord sa kanila, di ba? It's law of attraction. But uh, that is first the spiritual uh, view of them. But if you're going to be like more spiritually and biblically, then that will be more on faith. And if you're going to check, they have the same ground. It's just that the only difference uh, of it is people who really love to talk about law of attraction is talking about spirits, about something. But for people that really love um, talking about faith, deep faith for God is more on the highest power, divine creator. And I, uh, I, I just say law of attraction as well because on Habakkuk 2.22, it's also written in there that whatever you have write, whatever your visions you have to write down on the tablet. And the same thing with the law of attraction. Lahat ng gusto mong goals, you have to write it down, manifest. But then in our biblical way, we have to write it down and then pray. So they are just different lang pag uh, parang different lang yung mga ways nila to explain a uh, higher power than the other one is equal power. But then so do not quote me na ah Bakit ito, medyo nagkukan si coach. Doon siya sa spirituality and then biblically. But then, if you're going to check it out, they're all the same. And I can say I am a dreamer as well. When I say a dreamer, it's like, really, I will sit down in there and close my eyes. I dream of big dreams. Like, before, when I came here in Cavite, um, I don't know anything about call center uh, industry. And... Somebody just told me na, hey, malaki ang sahod sa call center. And I was like, really close my eyes and like dreaming that, oh, I ha I really wanted to have 20,000 a month a salary. And kasi di ba, 2010, malaki na yung 20,000 that time. And I was like, really just, just a dream. And I always, nagdi-daydream talaga ako lagi. And after that, I was able to make it the same year na, na nalaman ko na my call center industry, the same year na nag, nagsulat-sulat ako doon sa, sa paper ko, na I want to become a call center agent, I want to have 20,000 pesos a month income, and it actually happened, and when that happened, syempre nagbabago din yung mga gusto natin sa buhay, di ba? 
I will be muting you all, so we will not be distracting other people as well. So um, if you're going to know more of my story, it's more on my mindset, more on my faith in God, why I'm, I am here. And I always told you, uh, tell to everyone na, Bago ako naging call center agent, um, I applied and gusto nila fluent sa English. Gusto nila magaling sa computer, mabilis mag-type. And I do not have all of those. I am an Ilocana, proud Ilocana, daytoy, And we have a problem because Ilocanas have a hard tongue. We cannot um, we cannot pronounce the letter R. Like we have it like R. Our R is really rolling, and in a call center, we don't. They will turn you down. They will laugh at you, and they they actually told me, "Are you a Russian?" I was like, "No, I'm not." Because yung R ko super tigas, and I, I I actually what I did, I still go and apply because I really wanted to know paano ko magpasok. And th that time, my my hubby bought a keyboard, yung plastic keyboard. And yung keyboard na yan, I have to practice. And then I watch movies with subtitle. And I'm not really focusing on the movie itself, but I'm focusing on what are they are saying. And the subtitle, it's, I'm reading it as well. Para mas makuan ko yung English ko. Kasi I know na we have problems. Kasi Ilocano talaga ako. Matigas yung dila namin. So um, after that, I tried and I was able, I, I applied and I was able to make it. And my first one, <laughs> maraming Ilocano di gina no. Nisasumpat dagi di Ilocano si kayo kun han nga na imot. We share our blessings, we share our knowledge. And proud Ilocana. Okay? So I, I know there's a lot of Ilocano freelancer na matat magagaling, magagaling pa sa akin. And they are the one who are really, I'm really admiring, admiring them. If you know Jan Pagulayan, the best freelance coach in the Philippines, uh, Ilocano de Dazai. Ni mo long ski, mo Ilocano mo lang Dazai. Amen. Nga naglalaig, puro Ilocano. Kung nga naimot, they are sharing their blessings. That's why we are also blessed. Okay? Yeah, shout out sa mga lahat nga Ilocano. <laughs> I will be the, the proud uh, Ilocana from Isabella. Okay? So, why I'm sharing my story? I'm sharing my story because I really wanted you guys to believe in yourself. If you are able to graduate in there, you have your skills. What different you from me? Ako, I, I don't, I have a lot of parang kulang in the, the eyes of human. Sa, sa mata natin, and daming kulang para sa akin. I'm not the perfect person and not the, the best person na magfi-fit doon sa work. But how come that I become the best one? How come I was able to work with this um high tickets corporate corporate word uh, corporate market here or BPO in the Philippines and when I said na wala din naman akong natapos. Why I become a freelance VA that I am able to get clients and if I want to get more clients, I, I can do it. Why I am talking with you, why I am able to, to um, help my students get clients and hit six digits a month. What's my difference between you and me? It's my mindset, my faith, and my confidence. And that's the one that I'm really, really wanting, wanting to teach as well. Na parang, even though I'm really teaching about the skills itself as a lead generation or virtual assistant skills or whatsoever, I always, always teach about faith, about mindset. So before we're going to go more dig deeper about the mindset, my vision is to help thousands of Filipinos one at a time achieve financial and time freedom. And I'm so grateful that even I just started opening my community last January 21, 2023. So it's just, wow, January, February, March, April, May. May four months na tayo. Happy four months sari pala natin ngayon. Dahil man sari ko ngayon, I will uh, magpapatendance ako later sa mga andito sa Zoom. I will be including you sa isang live ko later uh, for, for my paid students. That will be my gift 
to all uh, of those who are here. Only one ha na magbibigyan ko ng free course. Okay? Kasi hindi ko naman kay lahat kaya. I'm going to create uh, attendance. Uh, or if you're if uh, or if someone out there na masipag can you please create attendance right now, like a form, so you can fill it out later, and then we will do the the wheel of fortune, okay? And I'm really grateful that um I am able to make or na na nangyayari to yung vision ko. It's a lot of divas students that are able to parang nakamit nila yung dreams nila yung goals nila they have clients they're able to make it and i i won't stop from there i know i will be helping more more and more filipinos out there because what you really need is just someone that will guide you you already have the skills you are more than skilled than me the only one that i'm going to 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 share is just to inspire you to ignite you to, to, alam mo yung parang, I will ignite that something hidden sa inyo, ilalabas natin. Because you are more than good than me. Lagi niyong iisipin yun. It's just that, malakas lang yung confident ko. Okay? And, good luck sa, uh, yeah, good luck later, ha? Huh? Gagawa tayo niyan. So excited. Hindi ko kasi alam. It's 21 pa lang ngayon. And happy birthday. Nakalive ako sa Facebook. Happy birthday sa dalawa kong best friend. Best friend ko ng high school, si Weng Lagura, teacher siya. Um, birthday din niya, May 21. And then my best friend nung college ako, nag second year hanggang second year college lang ako sa Isabella State. Si May Paharilio. Happy birthday, best friends. Hindi ko alam. Ngayon ko lang din nalaman na mga birthday nila ay 21 at the same sila. And ngayon ko lang din nalaman, nag-uusap kami ng asawa ko na 21 is the lucky day for me. Like every good things that's happening is every 21. Because I opened this Civis Academy um January 21 as well without me knowing those numbers. Na parang, sige lang, open lang naman. And now 21, di ko rin alam na 21. So, so lucky talaga yung mabubunod ko mamaya. Your life will be changed. Okay. Let's talk about mindset first. Um, I always tell you guys na sa larangan ng buhay, kahit ano industriya ka papasok, kahit ano yung papasukin mong business, kahit anong trabaho mong papasukin, mindset is the number one thing. Because if you have the proper mindset, if you have the good mindset, all you already win 80% of the race. Ang layo mo, di ba? So, andito yung end goal, 80% just because of the mindset itself. And skills is just 20%. See? So, you have the skills, so you already have the 20% inside of you. But the thing missing is a big chunk, which is 80%, and that is your mindset. And I really want you to think about this. What kind of person do you need to become in order to achieve your goals? Lahat ng successful na tao, may common ground sila. Look at those successful person. They read a lot of books. They don't have time you know, to sit down and watch mga kung ano-anong telenovelas. They don't have time for those. They don't have time to go outside and be the marites of, the, of their life. They don't have time for those. They always think, I also I I also learn about them no na whenever I I do something even if, even if I'm really holding my phone I have this what I call income generating activity IGA what is income generating activity everything that I am doing it's either one I will be learning from it and that help me grow at least 1% daily or it will help me financially that I get money from it. Because if pare-parehas tayo, 24 hours lang yung isang oras, yung isang araw natin. But then, gusto mong yumaman, gusto mong maiahon sa hirap yung anak mo o yung pamilya mo. But you are not doing the right thing. 
your mindset is not set up sa magandang parang um when i when i say the mindset na parang okay i really wanted to become successful and what are the things that i need to of course as a virtual assistant you need to ano yung kan ano you only may nagcha-chat okay as a virtual assistant you need to love learning you need to be resourceful kasi walang magtuturo sa atin wala tayong supervisor when you when i sit in here magisa lang ako dito wala akong supervisor or manager to ask how is this paano to in process wala but i have this mindset that when my client give all the tasks that i have to do i need to search I have my Google University. I have my YouTube University. I go and search first. Then I have to ask them, can you please confirm if I did it right? If I did it wrong, then I will just ask, sorry, I, I apologize, but I will make it better. And then I make sure now I have to write it down so that my client will not get pissed off. Kasi pag ulit-ulit, diba? Mahirap. So again, you have to look for those person na successful. What are their common grounds? One, they have a good mindset and everything that they do it has the income activity generating income and everything they do they should be learned from it or there would be something na in return in in in, in uh, return sa pera right kasi sa nasasayangan sila sa mga oras nasasayangan sila sa bawat minuto so if you really like to become a successful person as well Ask yourself, what kind of person do I need to become in order to achieve my goals? You have to know the answer and be honest to yourself because this questions that I'm really sharing to you is like a self-assessment. You need to assess yourself. You need to know more about yourself. Kailangan kilala mo yung sarili mo. Hindi pag tinanong nila, who are you? Tell me about yourself. You don't even know who are you. And what are the things that you have to take actions? One, describe the life plus the business that you want to build. Ano ba yung gusto mo three years from now or one year from now? You have to describe that. When, um, when, nung, nung nagtitinda pa lang ako ng balot, ano? kasi gusto ko talagang maging virtual assistant. Nagtinda ako ng balot, but I really write it down na. One day, uh, three months from now, I will be earning six digits a month. I will become the 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 best virtual assistant in the Philippines. So I'm read I'm really writing it down. My my um, business will become a virtual assistant coaching industry. So two years, I already print out the T-shirt, the one that you are always see. If I'm going to turn off this uh, camera, you will see the my picture there. Where is my picture? You will see the picture na yung nakita niyo yung uh, faith, hope, and love na, na the met. At the back of that is Coach Cheska that was printed two years ago. I printed out two years ago because I said two years from now, but there's no specific date. Um, Sooner or later, I will become a coach. I will be sharing others the blessings that I am receiving because I believe and I'm thankful that I will be hitting six digits a month. And then, this year, para lang ako nakatain na parang nag-LBM, inopen ko yung Facebook group ko. I just sit for one day, created this course outline. I created, I sit down, and I said, I will just teach the knowledge that I have by experience. So the one that I am teaching inside the group is through my experience. That's why when you're asking coach, how come that your students are able to get clients as fast as that? It's because I've been through for two years, all the pains or the hurdles that I've been through, I already write it down, everything. Ano yung fails, failure ko, ano yung mga mistake ko, what are the things that I have done? And those are the things I have created on my blueprint. And that's the one that I'm sharing inside my paid group. That's why they already have the shortcut. And that's why some people really need a coach because if you really wanted to get your goal as fast as that, you need a coach to guide you because the coach is already um, are able to make it na pagdaanan na lahat niya yan. Sineshare na lang niya kung ano yung mga nakuha niya along the way. 
hinortcut na lang niya yan. Ibibigay na lang niya ng, ng isahan and then gagay na lang to ignite you, to inspire you, guidance na lang yung kulang. And also, you have to describe the character that deserves this life and business. When I say character, ano ba yung mga character ng mga tao na successful? Uh, right? Not every people uh, deserve to be successful. Bakit? Ang daming failure, ang daming fails. All, yung, let's say, for example, na you fail. Those successful person will see the failure as a learning. They will not tell you that I failed, I don't make it, and they can just sit and mawalan ng pag-asa. When they fail, they always look the hidden. They will find the hidden gem on that failure. They will find the hidden blessings on that failure. They will look at it as a blessing. They will look at it as a learning. And then, go. They will go ahead. Magkukan sila ulit. Um, tawag na ito. Magmove on then go and find another another way. Alright? So you really needed to describe yourself. Ano ba yung dapat kung, ano ba yung karakteristik ko na karapat dapat para deserve ko yung magandang buhay at para deserve, deserve ko magkaroon ako ng successful na business sa buhay. Let me just check nga. I, I actually share it um, live. I'm not really sure if they are seeing me live na. Yeah, I'm see Oh, okay. So I can see there are 38 people on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining. All right. So, this was a vision that I have actually um written down 2 years ago. I said here, I want to have a successful online business as a coach Ito, as a virtual assistant coach and a consultant. A consultant, I'm still having clients. So I'm still working with them. Kasi um, it's really, parang gusto ko talaga, uh, what I am really teaching is by experience. Kung ano yung mga natututunan ko sa mga clients ko and along the way. Um, helping individuals and small businesses to reach their goals and achieve their aspirations. My business will be based on my values of integrity, empathy, and continuous improvement. When I say integrity, I'm a person of, in of high integrity. I really, really hate people that will, will question my integrity. If a client will question my integrity, I automatically say I will cancel our contract. Why? It's simply because if you question my integrity, you do not trust me. How can we work together if you don't trust me? Why should I stay with you, working with you, if you don't trust me? Why I should I, Why should I prove myself that you need to trust me when I did everything and then you still question my integrity? You don't deserve me, then I will cancel the contract. I can move on. I will find another person, another client that will actually have the trust. Because again, when you say that I have to do this, I really need, I really do it. I have to deliver that output. I have to deliver that work because I know you are paying me for that time. So again, anyone, anyone that will ever, ever question my integrity, caught. Because that is one of my non-negotiables. I don't negotiate to the values that I really have. Because if you question me, wala kang tiwala sa akin, ayaw mo sa akin, may mali sa akin, and I give everything na alam ko, because I always have this, uh, no, my father always told me na, anak, you always work not for the human master, but him up. So, Kahit nag nagrereklamo ako, tao lang din naman ako. Magrereklamo ako sa papa ko. Panaiinis ako doon sa supervisor ko noon when I was in PPO. Naiinis ako doon parang ganyan ganyan ganyan. ganyan. Then oh, my my papa will always tell me, um anak, always think of it. Kunyari si Jesus andiyan na nakatingin sa iyo. Yan yung pinapagawa niya. Mamaktulan mo ba siya ng ganyan? Eh uh, judgment time na. Paano na yan? Kasi may naktumaktulan mo. So, paano mo ipi-please si God? So, you always think na you are always working 
to uh -oh. the one above, not to the human master. So, pag ganun na, you have to pray. You have to pray for them. So, lagi ako, pag naiinis na ako that, sa mga, syempre, hindi, matao lang din naman ako, di ba? Hindi ko naman sabihing perfecto ako. I'm not a perfect person. I, I, I still get angry. So, when I'm, I'm mad, I always talk to my father and he will always tell me, always, always work with him not with the human master always pray for them if you hate them if they did something wrong with them you have to check yourself baka sobrang kitid lang ng utak mo anak you have to open your eyes you have to ask then then i'm really really proud of my papa because he's the one who gave me this good mindset it's rooted and um, also um going back what are your belief? Your belief will help you be a successful person or it will help you to fail. Why? Kasi yung belief is paniniwala. If you believe na, ah, ang daming, ang daming virtual, yes, there's a lot of virtual assistants right now sa Pilipinas. It's already 1.2 million. So 1.2 million VA and you said, Oh, dami ng virtual assistant sa Pilipinas. Wala na. Toxic na. Hindi ko na kayang kumuha ng clients. Mas magaling sila sa akin. Mas nauna na sila sa akin. That's your belief. And I guarantee you that belief is correct. You are a failure because you believe you are already a failure. But if your belief is like my belief when I start started out... Sabi ko sa sarili ko, yes, there's a lot of virtual assistants in the Philippines. It's 1.2 million. But there are 7.2 billion people. And of course, hindi lahat naman, kahit i-divide natin yon, gawin natin ng ratio, yung 1.2 divided by 7.2 billion, napaka this big imp impossible na wala ka man lang makuhang client. Di ba? Again, it's your mindset. Because, ah, isang taon na po ako nag apply Wala pa rin po akong client. Wala pa rin akong trabaho. If that's the case, you have to check yourself what's wrong. If your mindset is okay naman, feeling mo okay naman, align kayo ng sarili mo, okay naman yung paniniwala mo, okay naman yung belief mo, you have to check as well. Again, other one is your habits. So let's say, for example, you fail. Coach, lagi akong bumabagsak eh. Kasi sa interview pa lang, nauutal na ako. Sa interview pa lang, mali-mali na yung sinagot ko kasi ninervyos po ako. Hindi kasi ako marunong mag-English. And then my question is, you already know that you're not really good in your communication skills. You already know that you fail because there's something wrong when the, because you're not able to to answer like simple questions because you're so nervous every time and that you have a low self-confidence and my question is what did you do to change it what did you do to improve yourself wala diba and that lies your habits what did you do you still continue watching Korea novelas. You still continue watching Maghapon na kay Tulfo na nag-aaway. There's nothing wrong with those. There's nothing wrong. But what I really wanted you to think about is you know that you already know there's something wrong with your communication skills. You're able to watch K-pop drama for like 24 hours without sleep na, puyat-puyat ka, nang aaway ka pa pag, pag um, may nag, tin, sinabihan ka na magluto ka lang, nagagalit ka. Then, change your habit at least 10 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day, you have to set like a time to go ahead. And like, there, there's a lot of apps in there that you can download on your phone like Duolingo like D-U-O Lingo app and they're really good uh, sa pag sa mga iba-ibang language go ahead learn 10 minutes a day a lot of time 
sinabi mo, lagi kang nafe-fail sa interview mo, you have to check ano ba yung mga sinagot mo during interview. You should be aware nung sinagot mo yon may kulang, may mali. And you should write it down. And then, you have to rephrase, reframe it. Ah, puro negative pala yung nasabi ko before nung eto yung sinagot ko sa kanya. I have to change my answer na dito. Alright? And then, a lot of time. Kasi um, may, may kasabihan na actually, if you're doing the same thing uh, within 30 days without breaking it, it will become a habit. So let's say, for example, you're going to start tomorrow, um, mag-alat ka ng oras, every alas 5 ng hapon, up to 5.30, mag-aaral ako. So the same day, the same time, within 30 days, you have to do the same thing, and then it will become a habit. It's like, um, it's like me, like uh, my father actually teach us since we are kids to pray everything like before we're gonna go to bed we have to eat we have to take a bath we have to pray for our water we when we go outside the gate we have to pray now everything so even don't pagod na ako natutulog na ako then ako na hindi pa ako nag pray kahit I have to sit down. Talaga mag -pre -pre ka. It's already a habit. Like, I really need to do this because I know there's something wrong if I will not do this. Because I know when I do pray, when I do have my faith, lalo siyang tawag na ito, uh, lumalalim. Because I know if I will not, if I will discontinue my, my communication with him, then paano na yung mga, maano na ako kinabukasan. So I have that already. We already have that habit. Okay, and what are your values? Values are the things that we really value, like pinapahalagan inuuna natin. People doesn't know their values. It's very hard to find out. Um, it's, but the easy way, as way to find out kung ano yung binavalue mo is when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, what is the first thing you do? What's the first thing you do? <laughs> If you if you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do, close your eyes and say, good morning, Jesus. Thank you and bless me for the day. I will be a blessing to all the people that will see me out there. Or when you open your eyes, you go make a coffee, go to your to your kapit bahay and then say, good morning, anong balita mare, anong latest? That's your values. Okay, so you always track your values because our values will define us. Our values will be the one. The, the people will see you. Kahit hindi ka pa nagsasalita, they will know you. When I go outside, people know me as being tahimek, matalino, ganyan, mapala kaibigan. Because... Um, Kasi kahit lumalabas ako, I always say good morning. And even on the on the jeep, uh, nung nagigip pa tayo, di ba, nung pumupunta ako sa office, I, before ako bababa, I always say, Kuya, thank you so much. And one day, my sister actually asked me, why you're saying thank you? And that's their job. And I, I told my sister, Ate, without the jeepney driver, hindi ako makakarating sa pupuntahan ko. And uh, without him driving safely, hindi ako buhay so ngayon. So I always say thank you to them. And uh, pag nagpapa ha, dati hindi kasi ako marunong tumawid, ganun talaga yung mga taga-provincia. Bibilis ng mga sasakyan kasi dito sa Maynila. So when di takot akong tumawid, so aantayin ko si Mamang Polis magpapahatid ako. And then I will always say, "Kuya, sir, thank you so much." It's because he was able to help me para makapag, makatawid ako ng maayos. So, everyone, even the security guards sa mga gates namin, I always say, good morning, kuya, good evening, kuya, hello, kuya. I smile with them, I wave my hand. Para akong mga missionary person na when we, pagpapasok na kami dito sa subdivision, again, even my, my three-year-old baby, she was able to get that um, um, habit from me. They always wave everyone. Para kaming Miss Universe kaya tumatawa. <laughs> uh, kahit nung naka-face mask, minsan nagugulat ka na lang. Um, pati mga gwardiya dun sa mall, hinahay niya. Hindi siya natatakot. Sino-sino yan, hinihilo niya. And that's your values. Like, it will show to other people who you re who really 
yung nasa sayo, nasa loob mo, it, you will shine. They will know you already. Kahit wala ka pang sinasabi, alam na nila, ah, eto mabait, ah, eto magaling, ah, eto madali, no? It's just tinding mo pa lang. That's your values. And it will show up. Ha? So, always think, ano yung values nyo? Again, to know it, the easiest way to know your values is when you wake up in the morning, what is your priority? What are the things that you do first? Okay? And what are your goals? On my week one, on my paid training, we always talk about the goals because without your goals, wala lang. Without your goals, okay ka nang kumain ng tatlong beses sa isang araw. Without your goals, hindi ka na uusad. Our goals is something dapat na may time frame. When I say to my goals na parang within six months, I need to reach this. Kasi parang kunyari, um, pang five months na, tapos wala pa. Kung naku, naku, medyo nagkukan na ako na hahanap na ako ng iba pang way how to get this goal. Gagawa ako na gumagawa na ako ng mga process ko, ng workflow ko, ano pa yung mga dapat ko na strategy to get that goal. Kasi without a specific time, without your goal and the specific time of your goal, wala lang, easy-easy ka lang. Wala lang. Parang open ka eh. Kahit kailan yan. Basta gusto ko maging virtual assistant ako. Wala ka namang time frame. Your goal is to become a virtual assistant but you do not have a specific time frame when it will be, then parang wala lang you have to set a specific time as well. That way, you are able to reach your goal because that's the one who got to push you harder to reach that, okay? And things are... And next question is, what are your non-negotiables? When we say non-negotiables, we always set boundaries. Because as, uh, as per my experience, no, I, I'm, I'm learning, kahit matanda na tayo, I'm learning because na I have to set boundaries. There's a lot of people out there that really not, lang ibinigay mo na yung isang kamay mo, kukunin pa, puputulin pa pati yung isang kamay mo, saka kanila hihilain, pababa. So you really needed to to set boundaries and see na sino ba yung mga karapat dapat lang na paglaanan ko ng oras. Sino ba yung mga karapat dapat lang na sasagutin ko ng ma, ng Although I, I I still answer them, but those na super over the below the belt, then dead ko na lang. I'm still sharing kung ano yung nasa group, but I'm not really really wasting much time for them para makipag tawag nito, yung makipagkwenan ka, 'di ba? Magko-cause pa yan ng conflict or away. So one of the non-negotiable that I have told you is whenever somebody questioned my integrity. I really, really cancel everything, even if it is a high-paying client. That's my non-negotiable. I don't care if I'm going to lose you because I know for the fact that I have a high value of integrity. And it's not, it, it's not my loss that you lost me I say there's a lot of virtual assistant out there that you cannot trust and me you can trust me so bakit ako maghihinayang nagtatanggalan kita sa buhay ko when in the fact that hindi ka karapat dapat sa akin so automatic cancel yet so that's my non-negotiable so you also have to have your non-negotiables right and also, bago tayo magpunta sa lessons natin there, I also wanted to to dismiss. I also wanted to share you about this. Um, you need to determine your biggest why. What is your personal why? Our why is be uh, gasolina. Para umusad tayo. Para umandar tayo. Kung wala kang why sa buhay mo, hindi ka aandar. Para saan? Bakit ka nag... Di ba yung favorite ko naman ng kape? Pa para kanino ka bumabangon? This is it. Ano yung biggest why mo? Para kanino ka bumabangon? Your personal why? Bakit gusto mong maging virtual assistant? Bakit gusto mong mag-work? So my personal why is um, 
but nung wala pa akong work, honestly, wala pa akong work before even as a call center representative. Our son has an existing asthma. Pagkasi lang pa lang kasi may asthma na siya. So, um, in, na, na, na attack, the asthma attack him. Wala kaming pera. Tapos lupay pa na siya. Pumunta kami dun sa, sa private dito. Ayaw nilang asikasuhin the um, money down first. Wala kaming pang down. So, tumakbo kami dun sa public hospital. Tapos, umiiyak na ako. Ma'am, ma'am, pwede yung anak ko po muna mamamatay na ma'am. Hindi na nakakahinga ma'am. Bayulit, bayulit na ma'am. Ano sabi sa akin ng nurse? Oy, mother, nanay. Nakalimutan ko nung tinawag sa akin. Nanay, mother, or whatsoever. Doon, pumila ka. Pumila ka. Nga ba ng pila? Marunong ka ang sa pila. Sabi Tinisigawan na ako. Umiiyak ako. Ma'am, pasensya na po. Unahin niyo po yung anak ko. Mamamatay na po. Pare-parehas sila lahat. May sakit. Doon ka sa dulo. Doon kayo. And my my son was like lupaypay and violet. And that's asthma. Anytime mawawalan siya ng oxygen, mamamatay siya. Umiiyak na talaga ako. And that's the time that I've told myself, I will never ever experience this again. To beg sa mga facility para lang asikasuhin ang anak ko. I really wanted to get a work na pag tumakbo sa hospital, hindi yung magmamakaawa ko, unahin nyo muna. At ganyan. That's my personal why. And I always think of that story of my life because I don't really want it to happen again. That's why I really work hard. I really work um to become like the one that I am right now. Because I don't want to go back on those worst nightmares. Pinaka worst nightmare ng mga nana yung makikita mong yung anak mo mamamatay na dahil wala kang pera, hindi nila aasikasuhin yan. Nakakatakot. And then nakakakonsensya kasi sasabi mo sa sarili mo. Pag nawala yung anak mo, ano pa ba ang kulang na ginawa ko? Sorry, iyak na lang lahat, di ba? Ang sakit sa loob yun. So, that's my personal why. And my business why is, when I create, when I have this journey as a virtual assistant, there's a lot of Judas in my life. There's a lot of people out there that instead of helping me, tiniturn down ako. Instead of giving me ideas and help me grow, they will just, you know, mga negative sa buhay, kung ano nung sinasabi, masasakit, whatsoever. And sabi ko, Lord, I know hindi lahat ng tao ay kagaya ko na malakas ang loob. Hindi kagaya ko na kaya kong na the more na the more na idadown nila ako, the more kasi ako lumalakas. Lalo kong sinasabi na okay lang, tawanan mo ako ngayon bukas, tignan mo na sa taas na ako, tatanungin mo ako, how did you do that? So, that's my business why I really wanted someone out there ng mga kagaya kong nanay na nawalan ng trabaho, walang pera, hindi alam mag-start. I will be the one to guide you. I'll be the one to guide you to tell you there is how to start. Kaya nga, di ba, yung una pa lang, I already gave you the checklist. Paano ko yung mga pag-start? Dapat alam nyo lahat yon. If you're not able to attend that, don't worry. By June, I'm going to have another uh, free training about that because it's very important. Kasi nakakatakot mag-start na kayo. Wala pa kayo lahat ng mga doon sa checklist. Sayang yung oras ninyo, okay? And you always, um, this one, Please watch Simon Sinek's video, Start With Why, so that you will also understand me why I always uh, um, tell you to have your own whys. All right? So um, I will just end the live on my on Facebook because I'm going to share you now.